morning everyone it is monday morning okay monday afternoon about noon and i am having some coffee with this half and half i accidentally got regular half and half so one tablespoon of regular half and half is one smart point it's about the same as having three tablespoons of fat free half and half so not a big deal but just a little annoying that i got the wrong one so regular half and half is one point per tablespoon so i'm having one point right now and i have some cake pop orders that are due at the end of the week so i'm working on baking a few cakes right now okay here are my three cakes finished and I can't even tell you how good these smell right now. Oh my gosh. I'm not touching that. Okay, it's 2.52 and I am making some Timmy Refresh. I'm a little bit chilled and it just sounds good because Timmy Refresh always sounds good. It is good. But I'm super excited to be restocked. I got my order and I'm restocked on all the good stuff. Timmy Bloom, one of my favorites. Teeny Refresh, my super duper favorite, and Teeny Colon, my essential. <laughs> so I've got my cake pop batters halfway done here. The strawberry is all crumbled and just needs the frosting. The chocolate is still cooling a little bit, but we are past the danger point. So once these are crumbled like this, they're way less tempting for me. I have a really hard time with them fresh out of the oven. Um, but after that, kick pops don't really bother me, so that's good. I need to crumble this one fast because it still looks a little tempting. Okay, here's all three kick pop batters. Danger over. Danger over. These will be strawberry lemon kick pops and s'mores kick pops. Chocolate s'mores. You guys, this is a YouTube channel that Eddie found for me. It it's live. I don't know. <laughs> How this is like constant live, but it is called Relaxing Music with Zen Flute and Sounds of Nature. And it is so awesome. It's so relaxing, and the picture is so beautiful. I am loving it. I think the channel name might be called Spiritual Moment. Anyway, I thought I would share. This is awesome. It makes me want to be right there. Okay, it's four o'clock and time for lunch. I am having some of the cabbage soup that I made yesterday for lunch. So I'm just having it right out of the jar. Uh, just heated it up for a couple minutes. So that is zero smart points and some grapes for zero smart points. Hey guys, so it is about 4.40 and I'm just about ready to go for a run, which I am actually kind of excited. I miss my regular runs. I miss them so I don't know I need to find a way to work them in more regularly I guess um, because the whole um, lunchtime running thing I don't know I try to make it regular but there's already so much going on in the middle of my work day it's been really hard so I just I'm missing my running I have this you can tell I have a lot of stress in my life right now and of course they always have to be right dead center of course. So I wanted to share with you guys my weight loss mantra or my health mantra. Is it mantra or mantra? It's probably mantra for April. So my mantra for 2017 was going to be focus. And I feel like I have lost a lot of focus recently. Um, I'm just kind of doing my own thing and having fun doing it. And living my life but I'm not really focused on my goals anymore so I need to get that focus back so um, my mantra for April is focus on right choices at the right time for right living so I think that says a lot I also feel like I should define for you right living but that could be a whole complete video <laughs> Right living to me means being the best me that I can be. I've had a lot of judgment and criticism lately and a lot of um, what I feel are false statements about me and myself and my life and I choose to stand firm and stand strong in who I am and what I believe and what I do and why I do the things I do. Um, so right living to me is being the best me I can be and that means so many things that means 
being a good person inside and out, helping others, um, doing good for the world, doing good for my family, being there for people who need me, being a productive, healthy citizen, and also treating my body and my health the way that I should. So there's a whole broad scope for right living. But that is my mantra for April, right, focus on right choices at the right time for right living. So that was um, the Swing Into Spring Challenge day one, which it was yesterday. Today for day two, Swing Into Spring is do an ab workout. I'm also going to be doing the abs, guns, buns, and abs workout after I do, after I go for my run. So I'm gonna run three miles and then do the guns, buns, and abs. I was going to just use that ab workout as my um, swing into spring challenge for today, but I'm not. I looked up, I looked up something online, and I came across a website that had the 10 best ab workouts. Um, so I'm going to choose probably three of those and do three extra ab workouts for today. So that'll be challenging. I'll try to um, insert a picture or show you guys somehow um, which ab exercises I do. One of them, the first one I looked at, is where you sit on a chair and then you um, put your arms down next to your hips and then you raise your lower body, start with your feet and knees, raise them off the ground, and then you actually raise your butt off the chair, so you raise your entire lower body and um, you're really just supporting yourself with your arms. So I don't even know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try. That was one of the ab workouts that I found and I'm gonna choose three of them. So that is my challenge update. I hope you guys are all doing well. I wanted to check in and make sure that everyone was able to access the Google Docs. Um, there are at least two people who are not able to edit them and I'm not sure why um, because obviously a lot of people can get in and edit and I have, I'm totally not a technical expert but I think I have everything set the way it should be. So if you're not able to get in and access the Google Docs, please let me know um, in the comments below and let me know what your email address is because I think there's a way I can send you a personal or a, a direct invite to the Google Docs to your email and then you should hope, hopefully be able to access and edit that way. So let's try that. I know Sherry, Sherry McGill and I think Dee Harris, um, you guys are having problems. So send me your email address and we'll see if we can get you in a different way. So that's, that was everything I had to say for the challenges. So um, let's see, I had a couple other things to tell you guys. So you guys saw Kelly's intro video for me yesterday. Kelly and I are going to be spending about four days together in Orlando. So Kelly thought it would be super fun if we did a question and answer video. So you guys, please send me any questions you have for me or Kelly. I just saw one as I was um, leaving to walk outside, which was a really good question. Um, any questions you have about weight loss, about um, financial stuff, money stuff, um, budget, or... Um, Disneyland or life in general, anything you guys want to ask me or Kelly. And we will do that video for you guys. So post your questions below and we'll answer. Kind of like an ask me anything. And then I want to tell you guys about the meetup in Orlando, totally still on and it's getting so close. I'm so happy. So the meetup we're going to be having in Orlando, if you guys can make it, um, I think I've got about, I've got about eight of you on my list so far, maybe seven or eight. So if you can make it, please let me know down below. Um, let me know if it will be just you or if it will be you and a spouse or you and a friend, just so I know how much, how many people to expect so we can maybe, if we have to do reservations or whatever. So let me know if you can make it. It's going to be April 20th at 6 p.m. The location is still up in the air and that's because Eddie and I want to actually go to uh, Disney Springs and check out some of the restaurants there and see what would be kind of quiet but nice for maybe just appetizers and drinks, although six o'clock I'll be like bring me food <laughs> I don't know anyway um, so I'll let you guys know the details of where I wonder if I wonder if you guys no it's okay I'll, I'll let you guys know publicly publicly so April 20th at 6 p.m. if you are able to go let me know in the comments it's getting really close I'm getting super excited and one other date I wanted to throw out to you guys everybody who's in the book club and reading the book so much fun I am having so much fun um, chatting with you guys about the book although we really can't chat about the book so it's been really fun so the live book club discussion which will be a face uh, sorry a YouTube live 
um, is going to be on April 29th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So April 29th, it's a Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So mark that on your calendars because I have a lot of questions to ask you guys. I have at least two questions specifically, but now, hmm, I don't know. Pay attention is all I have to say. If you're listening to that book, pay very close attention. So that's it. I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to go do a three mile run. And then um, I've just been getting a lot of things done today. I worked on some transcription and some comments and just getting stuff done. So I'm going to go get the run out of the way and then get back on it. I'll see you guys in a while. Okay, guys, it is much later. I have been doing stuff, stuff, stuff all day, so getting things accomplished. I am outside the laundromat waiting for the laundry. I'm going to do some transcription in the car while I wait, and I have two apples, zero smart points. I gotta tell you, those squats are killing me. I did all 55 squats, but it's hurting like really a lot more in my quads, my um, upper legs, than it is in my butt. So it's not it's not doing as much for my buns as I had hoped, um, but also every time I do a squat, my knees crackle. So I did 55 today, I'm just gonna keep, I'll try to do as many as I can, but I don't know, you know, when I can't, when I physically can't do them, um, you know, how do you allow your legs to rest so that you can then do them? Because I know there are rest days, but it's only one rest day. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm hanging in there, I'm trying. And I also did three ab exercises in addition to the guns, buns, and abs. I did um, I did the exercise, I think I told you, where you lift your butt and your legs off the chair. I did um, a yoga move where you um, put opposing arms and legs out, like you're on hands and knees, and then you balance with opposing arms and legs stretched out. And then I did a plank. So um, those are my exercises for the day. Okay, sitting in this parking lot, this is the laundromat parking lot, and right over there to the left, Vittoria's Italian Restaurant, and that's our favorite pizza restaurant. Sitting here, it makes me want pizza so bad, but you notice everything is shut down. They are closed on Mondays, so thankfully, I couldn't have pizza, even if I actually did go in and get it right now, so no pizza for me tonight. Okay, it's about 9 o'clock and here is what's for dinner. Actually, I think it's probably closer to 9.30, which doesn't surprise me. So this is more of the cabbage soup that I made last night. It is zero smart points, just a lot of vegetables and some seasonings. And then I have a mango, sliced mango for zero smart points. I have my grapefruit bellini for 18 points with frozen grapes in my glass ready to go. And then this is for later tonight. It's a teeny colon night, so I've got my colon tea steeping in there. That's it, so this brings my day to a total of 19 smart points.